An atom's electronegativity is that atom's ability to control or hog an electron within a covalent bond. So here is two spheres that are just meant to represent any two atoms that are involved in a covalent bond. And let's say that there are electrons right here in the middle of those two atoms. Now, the pulling of the electrons by those atoms is not going to be equal. It's not going to be 50-50. There is going to be one atom that literally pulls the electrons closer to it. There is still a bond, but this bond is now weakened a little bit because one atom is going to pull those electrons closer to its nucleus, pulling them in right there. To predict which atom has the higher electronegativity is looking at a trend based on the periodic table, a hidden trend, or a secret trend of the periodic table here. But let's crack that code. So we've talked about trends of ionization and radius and things like that. <clears throat> the trend of electronegativity is as follows. The first, the primary electronegativity trend is up. Like the higher you get on the periodic table, the greater that atom's ability is to pull electrons in a, bond, in a covalent bond. So if you have elements that are top of vertical of each other in the same column, the one that is higher up is going to be more likely to pull that electron closer to it. That electron is going to spend more time closer to that atom. Secondary is going to the right. Okay? If that atom is further to the right, it is going to have a higher or larger electronegativity, and those atoms are going to... So if you have two atoms that are in the same row of each other, pick the one that is further to the right as having a higher electronegativity. Thank you.